Yeah. This is Stefan and Jordan. Alistair. I have hair in my mouth. Shut oh. up. <laughs> and we um, did the balcony scene. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoy this. Wait, what's that? Alistair or intro? Tatum? Alistair or intro? I don't fucking know. Uh, I think this is... <coughs> Either way, thanks for watching. Wait, then that would be the outro. Thanks for enjoying. Then that would also be the outro. Outro or intro. Or hope no. you enjoy. Then that would be intro. Take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. He just has scars that never felt a wound. But soft right through yonder. Window breaks, it is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the enemies. Moon, who's already sick and pale with grief. That thou her maid art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is sick and green, but none but fools do wear it. Cast is off. It is me, lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knows she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. To the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business to entreat her eyes, to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, there in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars, as daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy region steam so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I wore a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. See. I, me. She speaks, oh speak again, bright angel for thou art. As glorious to the right being over my head, as is a winged messenger of heaven. Upon the white upturned wondering of eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him. When he restrains the lazy puffing clouds and sails upon the bosoms of air. Oh Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou will not, but be sworn by love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? This but my name, that is my enemy. Thou art myself, thou art not an, a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose? By any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo were not he ro called Romeo. Retain that dear perfection with, with the O's. Without that title, Romeo doff thy name. And for that name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. What did God thou house now shall call? He know, he knows, he knows. What did Wild Thou Tree said he do? I take thee at thy word. Call me but love. I'll be new Baptist. Henceforth, I will never be Romeo. What man art thou that flash with screen in night? So stumble the night is fearless. By name, I know not how to tell by thee. Who I am, my name, dear saint, is hateful to myself. Because it is an enemy to thee. Had I had written it, it would tear the world. My ears have yet not drunk a hundred words. Of thy tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague?
she's a fair saint if either of these dislike her. <coughs> How canst thy hither? Tell me and therefore. The archered wells are high and hard to climb, and the place death considered thou thart. If any of my kin kinsmen find thee here. With love lights that I have perched these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out. And what love can do that dares love attempt? Therefore they keen's men cannot stop lie. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look, thou, but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prerogative wanting of thy love. By whose direction foutst thou this place? By love, that first did not prompt me to inquire. He lent me outside counsel, and I lent him eyes. I am no pilot yet, and I went thou as far as that vast shore, washed from the furthest sea. I should have ventured for such merch. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face. Else would a Madison blush be paint my cheek. For that which thou have heard me speak tonight, fain would I dwell on form, fain fan damn me. What I have spoke but farewell com compliment. Thou thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take the word. Yet if thou swearest, Thou malice prove false at lovers perjuies. They say, love lost. A O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinkest I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be perfierce, and say thee nay. So thou wilt woo, but else not for the world. In truth for Montague I am too found, and therefore thou mayest think of my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cun cunning to be storage. I should have been more strange, I must confess. But that thou overheadest, ear, I was where. My true love passion, therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love with which the dark night hath so discovered. Lady by yonder, blessed moon I vow, that tips with silver all these fruit treetops. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon that monthly changes in their circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or if thou wilt swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my adelority, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love. Well, do not swear, although I joy in thee. I have no joy of this contact tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning, which doth crease to be. Ear can say it lightens, sweet good night. This bud of love be summer's ripping breath may prove a beautiful flower with the next we meet good night good night as sweet respond and rest come to thy heart as that without my breast oh wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied what satisfaction consists thou have tonight hmm. the exchange of thy advised love faithful thou for mine I gave thee mine before you didn't request it, and yet I would have worked to give up again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? But to be frank and give it thee again, and yet I wish but for nothing I have. My bounty is as boundless as to the sea, my love is as deep, there more to give the more I have for both are unfortunate. I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu, anon. Good nurse, sweet Montague, be true, stay but a little, I'll come again! Oh, bless, bless night, I am a fur. Being a knight, all this end but a dream. 
too flattering sweet, but to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. Madam! If that by then, and that by thee be honorable, thy purpose marriage send me, word tomorrow, by the one that will produce, to come. Madam! One second! To come in thee, where thou all the time thou wilt perform the right, and all of my fortunes in their foot. <laughs> and follow my lord throughout the world. I come him on! But if the meanest not well, I do beset thee. Adam? By and by I come to crease the suit and to leave me to my grief. Tomorrow I will send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times good night. A thousand times is the words to want thy light. Love goes toward love. I school boys from their books, but love from love, from school toward heavy locks. Hiss, Romeo, hissed. Oh, for a falconer's voice to lure his tassel gent black Romeo, again. my dear. At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? Mm. At the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till the end. I have forgotten why I did call the back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still. Stand there, remembering how I love thy company. Let me stand here till I remember it. I shall forget to have this still stand here, remembering how of thy company. And I will still stay to have thee still thee forget, forgetting any other home but this. Tis almost morning. I would have thee gone, and yet no further than a Wanston's bird. Who lets it hit on hop and the little from her hand? Like a poor prisoner in its t twisted gives, and with a silk thread plucks it back again, so loving jealously of its liberty. I would. I were thy the bird. Sweet, so would I. Yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night. Good night, partying is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till the be tomorrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest, hence I will to my ghostly father sell his help to crave and my deep hap to tell. <laughs> Sensational.